Woot! Yeah, today, guys, it seems that Adobe is finally starting to give a shit about Linux because before, you guys remember back in, if you are a Linux user and you've been using it for more than two years, or I forgot when Adobe started to even care about Linux. But anyway, back in the day, Flash, you had to download a third party plugin for Flash. There was no f official Flash plugin. Then Adobe started developing one because Linux users cried. And now, 64 bit Flash. Right now, if you're a Linux user and you're running 64 bit operating system, you can download 64 bit Flash. Does OS 10 have 64 bit Flash? No. Does BSD have 64 bit Flash? No. Does Windows have 64-bit Flash? No. For the first time ever, Adobe has released released a soft, you know, their software for a platform other than Windows first. Well, they used to release their products only for Mac when Windows first came out, and then yeah, whatever they switched over. So yeah, it seems Adobe is starting to care about Linux. Go read the article I posted on the description, you'll see for yourself. And, um, yeah, to all the free tards out there, I don't care if it's proprietary software. You guys don't seem to realize that the more proprietary softwares that sign on with Linux, the more market share Linux is going to gain. Sure, we might have to pay for some software, but we remember, we're free software. We have all kinds of alternatives. And when big companies like Adobe get interested in Linux, not only will it help in the enterprise business, but, you know, more desktop carriers will start carrying it too. Like right now, we got Dell, and we got Asus, and we got a couple of others. But, you know, we got the MS Win. Yeah, but that, you know, that's not a lot of support in comparison to Windows, where, and then, you know, if any other third party, any other, like, OEM just tells us, you know, go install it yourself. But, you know, more people are not going to have it if they have to install it themselves. So, Linux is gaining more market share with, with Adobe, which is brilliant. And Google's taking a huge, large interest in Linux, too. So, check it out for yourself. Sign me out.